Good afternoon, this is Mr. Hanoff here with some breaking news. Famous billionaire Willy Wonka has finally came out of retirement to announce that he has put five golden tickets in his Wonka bars and whoever is able to find any of these tickets will be able to get a lifetime supply of his delicious chocolate. This here has caused an incredible rise to the stock market for these Wonka bars. Hey man, you got the Wonkas? Yeah, we are. Thanks, man. Um, hey, wait a minute. This is a Mars bar. <laughs> it sure sucks to be you, then. All right, that's it. I'm going to blow your Snickers ass all the way to Mars. I uh, would the absolute fuck. So far, only four out of the five tickets have been found. Oh, yeah, I love the chocolate. I have it for me breakfast, lunch, dinner, and supper. How are you not a diabetic? I told my daddy I wanted the golden ticket, so instead of him giving that money to orphans, he invested it in half the Wonka bar stock, and I got the ticket. So, how do you feel that your spoiled little shit of a daughter got a golden ticket? Hello, I like money. I'm a gun person, warn her about the sticker things, I like to gun switch candy bars, pretty cool I guess. Since I'm a film snob and a social introvert, I bought this ticket online. We are still currently waiting on the last winner. Hopefully it isn't some poor kid from Wonkaville. Also, yes, you may be wondering, there is a place called Wonkaville in this universe. Willy Wonka literally owns the entire bloody town and it's never mentioned in the movie. Diana, get me a cigarette! This chocolate hangs all over the baloney. I mean, what are the chances of us getting a golden ticket out of everyone in the whole damn world? Ah, I got a golden ticket! What? Yep, it says here I need an adult to come with me to the factory. So, who do you think you'll bring with you? I mean, obviously it has to be your father. Hmm... I'll pick... Grandpa Joe. Him? All he's done for this family is using all of our money for coke and gambling, and he's always lying on his ass watching Family Guy and Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and those shows fucking suck, okay? They were good when they first started, and now they're fucking awful! Ugh! Are you sure you want me to go with you, Charlie? I haven't even walked in the past 20 years. But, but you're walking right now. You lying bitch! We've been taking care of you for ages, and you could walk this entire time? Charlie! <laughs> this is a miracle! Let's go to the chocolate factory right away! <laughs> hey Charlie, you sure you don't want good old Grandpa George to come with you instead? I mean, I would, but in the original book, you don't have a single piece of dialogue, so... Bye! I'll never understand influencers. Good morning, Starshines. The Earth says hello. Well, why are you all out here in the cold? Come inside. I'm so happy that I spread my golden tickets all over the world and it all went to non-diverse white stereotypes. Yeah. Well, anyway, let us begin our tour then, shall we? Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look, and you'll see inside your imagination. We'll begin with a spin traveling. In the world of my creation, what we'll see... Oh, oh, oh my! That poor German! Can you do something to save him? I mean, I would go in and help him, but I just got this suit dry cleaned. Uh, but I know who can help. Oh, 
Oompa Loompas! Daddy, I want an Oompa Loompa. Sir, are, are you aware of your daughter asking to buy a slave? Okay, how did the Oompa Loompa save the German kid from the river? Save him? The Oompa Loompa just wanted to show off their dance moves. Can, can, can one of you rescue Tubby Kid? Well, how unfortunate. Anywho, let's get back to the tour! But what about my son, Wonka? I mean, you can eat him if you want. He tastes like Snickers bar. So, over here is how we make all the wonderful chocolate bars for the world. And this over here is where we experiment with new recipes. Um, what's this one? Well, this gum is able to simulate an entire four-course meal by just chewing it. But I don't recommend trying it yet. She's uh, trying it. Okay. Wow, this gum is amazing. It's like I'm eating a pizza. It's like I'm having a Big Mac. It's like I'm having a Spike Cranberry. Oh, great heavens, Violet! You're turning Violet, Violet! Oh my god, she's turned into a Discord admin! Well, I fucking warned you. Oompa Loompas, can you escort or roll the admin off the premises? Well, what's gonna happen to my daughter? She needs to still compete in competitions! Sir, it looks like the only contest she's ever gonna win are having the most kittens or most hours on Bed Wars. Hey Wonka, what's in that room? Oh, that's where we use our secret ingredient on the bars, but I can't show you that. But if you had the platinum gold ticket, then I would have shown you. Well, over here is our Wonka alcoholic bar. This is mainly for our employees and homeless people. Wait, Charlie, stop for a second. I gotta try out some of this alcohol. Holy hell, Charlie! This alcohol's Twix flavored! Grandpa, you're flying! This is the most drunk I've been since Tuesday! G -g Grandpa, look out! Well, shit. It looks like you gotta go on without me, my boy. Grandpa Joe, I can't leave you like this! It's okay, Charlie. I accepted death a long time ago. I've got so much gambling debt, and I'd rather die than spend another second crippled in that bed. Win this for me, Charlie. I'm counting on you. Goodbye, Grandpa Joe. Here is one of my favorite personal rooms, my chicken collection. I hope you don't mind me asking, but what does this have to do with the chocolate factory? Oh, this has nothing to do with it. I just love collecting chickens. Daddy. I want a chicken. Okay, okay, we'll get you a bird when we get back home. I want the chicken now. Hey! If you shut the fuck up now, I'll get you a PS5. Well, it looks like they detected Veruca being a bad egg. Oh lord, where will that take my daughter? Oh, it's only the incinerator. I had it installed after I watched Toy Story 3. What? Veruca coming to get you for the child benefit! <sighs> I should probably call my lawyer Soul after this tour. Well, before we finish this tour, would anyone like to go visit the gift shop? Here is the final place we'll be visiting for a tour. Aw, oh, sick TV! Not just TV. We are actually working on our very first streaming service, Waka Plus! Ugh. Why does everything have to have a streaming service? We'll have some pretty quirky originals on the service. We're even working on a superhero franchise. But what's that? Oh, I'd be careful of that. It's a way to teleport stuff on Wonka Plus like product placement. I can be teleported into a streaming service? I gotta try this out. I wanna be inside of some cinematic masterpieces like The Truman Show or Scott Pilgrim or even the Grand Budapest Hotel. Great Scott! Where did my boy go? On to Wonka Plus, of course. Can you check and see what movie or show we got transported to? 
Well, before I do that, I do need to do a little bit of um uh, uh scam I mean, uh, advertising. Uh, I need you to pay me eight ninety five to get a subscription to the service. Yeah, fine. I'm gonna have you beheaded. Is. It seems he has been transported in one of my favorite motion pictures, American Psycho. Well, at least he died like how every film snob wants to die, being brutally killed by Christian Bale. That's it, Wonka. I'm suing you for everything you own after this. This ain't the last you've seen of me. Oh, by the way, the chocolate was fucking delicious. Oh, dear. Well, I want to go to the... Oh. Wait, wait a blimey second. Charlie! Charlie, you were the last one! You won! Oh, this is just wonderful news! I had a hunch you were gonna win ever since I found out you're the protagonist for this parody. Come, Charlie, we haven't got time to lose. So, what room are we visiting next? Room? We're not visiting any type of room. Oh my goodness, this is so magical! It truly is. You see the chocolate factory down there? Yeah, well, of course. It's literally where we spent the entire video in. Well, I'm giving it all to you, Charlie. Really? That's, that's incredible. And wait, wait, why is there why is there flashing lights down there? Oh, son of a gobstopper. This is the police. Please come down so we can arrest you, Mr. Wonka. Uh, arrest me? This is absurd. There must be some sort of mix-up. Well, we have some allegations against you, sir, such as child endangerment, no guardrails, working with contaminated food, no safety protocols, negligence, 60 OSHA violations, and we found what your secret recipe is. Oh, rats. It says here it's an extra 25% of sugar. And human flesh. Wait, 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 what? This isn't the first time you did a golden ticket tour, right? Looking at your documents, it looks like you've been doing this once every month. Well, th those are just rumors. You have no physical proof of this. We found your diary, which you gossip and all of this. What? What? Uh, uh, did you at least enjoy the human-flavored uh, cho chocolate chocolate bars? Yeah, it was freaking delicious. But we still have to arrest you. Well, Charlie, it looks like this is the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and congrats on being one of the only living victims of my chocolate factory. Your Honor. My client is innocent, and was unaware that what he was committing was against the law. Well, your client still committed forced cannibalism and broke over 60 OSHA violations. Even though your chocolate is incredibly delicious, we still have to fine you for $26.1 million for all of these violations and face 14 years in prison. Case closed. Oh dear, I still don't see where I went wrong after all of this. Hey wait just a sec, I remember funding this prison years ago. That means that most of this cell is made of chocolate, including these bars. <laughs> hey, Panda. Where's Mr. Wonka? Well, that sure was a fun career, selling chocolate to people. I wonder what I'll do next. Maybe I'll get into Wall Street or something. Don't get yourself, they belong to you. They're the start of the coming.